What is going on, FitFam? Welcome on back to my channel. My name is Megan Janice, the founder of Nomadic Fitness, and I teach you ladies how to eat way more food without any restrictions and work out smarter instead of harder so you can build that bang an hourglass body and keep it for life while feeling amazing with ease. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And if you're coming on back, thanks so much for joining for another video. Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite things, which is helping you to understand what you need to do with your nutrition, how to eat right to see amazing results and feel amazing results as well. So I'm going to be going over a lot of the common mistakes I see beginners doing who are kind of new in their fitness journey. They're trying to figure it out and they're confused why they're not seeing the progress that they want, why they're not leaning out, why they're not toning up, aka building that sexy muscle and why it feels so freaking hard for them to get these results. And the answer is that it lies almost entirely in your nutrition. It also definitely has a big part to do with how you're training and how you're working out, which I'll also touch on in this video, but I'm going to go over the shifts you can start making ASAP to your food that is going to start to make a very big difference very fast. So let's get into it. Okay. So what you actually want to achieve with your body, anytime you say you want to lose weight and tone up as a woman or even as a guy, that means that you want to change your body composition. So literally you want to change what your body is composed of. So very important that this actually doesn't really have anything to do with how much you weigh because how how much you weigh doesn't tell us where is the weight coming from. So I recently got up to about 150 pounds after doing my bulk, whereas before doing my bulk, I was always really kind of around 135 pounds for the vast majority of my fitness journey. But I actually think I look a lot better now weighing 15 pounds more at 150. And that is because I improved my body composition. Specifically, I put on more muscle mass and I didn't actually really necessarily decrease my body fat percentage that much, but having more muscle made me look like my body fat percentage was a little bit lower because it's really the muscle that makes your skin smooth, firm, tight, gives it all the shape, lines, and definition. Okay, so in order to get an ideal body composition, which for most women is gaining about 20 pounds of muscle onto their frame and having a relatively low body fat percentage, somewhere around 25%, maybe a little bit lower than that, you would need to have the right ratio of macronutrients or macros for short. So a lot of you probably do know what macros are, I talk about it a lot on this channel, but just in case you're new to this, here's what they are. You might not have ever heard of macronutrients, but you have heard of protein, fats, and carbs. Those are what your three macros are. So protein, fats, and carbs are calories, but when we focus on macros and not just any calories, we're specifying where do the calories come from? Which source of macronutrient is the calorie from? And this is important because protein, fats, and carbs, although they are all sources of calories, are very different sources of calories. They all have a completely different role in the inner functions of your body. So for your hormones, for your metabolism, for energy to work out, but also they play a very distinct role in the way that you're outwardly going to look. So in the way your body composition is going to become. And again, when you say you want to get lean and toned, so you want to be decreasing body fat a bit, and especially you want to really be building that muscle so that you can have all of the sexy definition, all of the curves, then having the right macro ratio is key. So if you are not seeing results, it is literally because your macros are not what they should be. And also it could be that you're not training right. You really do need to do both of them together correctly, but very likely that a huge part of where you're going wrong is just not having the right macros in the first place. So the most common mistake I see people making with their nutrition is they have a very high fat intake and then they have a very low carb and protein intake. Some of the time the protein intake is okay, but then the fat intake is still very high and the carb intake is very, very low. I actually just onboarded a ton of new clients recently and almost every single one of them, I saw this pattern happening and they were all coming to me being like, I've been trying to eat healthy. I've been trying to work out and I just literally can't get results. And literally I get them to track their food for just a couple of days. And right away I'm like, yep, that's why it's because you have way too much fat, way too little carbs. And also your protein is not where it should be. So if you're kind of just somebody who's randomly eating, you're not really consciously trying to hit any type of macros, or if you're somebody who's just kind of going out in the world, eating in restaurants and not really being very intentional with your intake, I can guarantee that this means that your fat intake is way too high. And then again, you're hardly getting any protein and carbs. Okay. So why does that happen? Well, it's because when you're out in the world, just trying to eat food in restaurants, 
on, they're going to put a lot of fat in the food. Why? Because fat is what makes food taste good. Fats are the savory source of food. So your fats are things like oil, butter, cheese, guacamole, peanut butter, all the things that really give that savory, delicious taste that makes you want to eat more of it. So this is why in restaurants, obviously they don't care about you having the right macros to get a bang in physique and feel really good energy wise as well. All they care about is that you find the food delicious and that you want to come back and buy more of it. So what are they going to do? They're going to make the food as delicious as possible in that first moment when you're eating it by putting a lot of fat in it. So this is how people end up eating way too much fat and very little carbs and protein to balance it out. Okay, so why is it that eating too much fat and not enough carbs and protein is a problem? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, dietary fat. So meaning the fats that we get from food like oil, butter, cheese, avocado, etc., etc. Although fats are an essential nutrient, we must have them. And it's important that we don't have too little fat because fat is what produces our hormones. So if we're not getting enough fat, especially as a woman, our hormones are going to be all messed up and that's going to mess with everything else that we want to achieve with our body and health. However, most people are not under eating fats. Most people are way over eating them for the reasons that I just said. So the thing is dietary fat, fats that come from diet, from your food is chemically very similar to body fat, which is the type of weight we want to lose when we say we want to lose weight. So when you're eating too much dietary fat, it's going to very easily convert over and store as body fat on your body because you're just having too much of it. It's an excess. So your body is going to store it. So that's the first thing. The second thing is also alongside that one gram of fat is nine calories, whereas one gram of protein and carbs is four calories. So fats are more than twice as dense in calories as protein and carbs are. So that alone means it's very easy to get way too many calories, just be in a huge surplus, specifically coming from dietary fats when you are not controlling controlling the amount of fats that you're eating. So now you have a huge amount of extra calories specifically from fat. And we know that when we're getting too much fat from food and not balancing it with enough carbs and protein, we're going to end up storing too much body fat. And then the third thing is that fats are delicious. They are super savory. And this also makes it very easy for us to overeat them if we are not being mindful. And again, this is why when you're always eating food out, it's going to be very difficult for you to get the fit body composition that you want to have because you're just most likely going to be eating way too much fat because the restaurants are putting in all that oil and butter and everything else so that you're going to want to eat more of it. And then this is also why a lot of the time when you go out to eat, by the time you're done the meal, you feel like you literally just got hit by a truck. I know I feel that way a lot when I go out to eat. It's like at first, oh my gosh, this tastes so delicious. And then at the end of the meal, I'm like, I'm so exhausted. I'm so bloated. I feel like garbage. I just wish I hadn't even eaten this. And the reason why is because you had so much fat, which meant that it ended up being a lot higher calorie and now you just feel like way too full, bloated, sluggish, and heavy. So this is why although we do need to be having fats in our diet, it is the one macro we really need to pay attention to to not accidentally be going way over, which is very easy to do when you're not being mindful of your intake. So yes, you need to have a moderate amount of fats, but the foods you need to be eating a lot more of to balance with that fat intake is protein and carbs. I think protein is pretty obvious as to why we need it because it is the building block of muscle. You're not going to be able to be building that sexy, beautiful muscle that's going to speed up your metabolism, balance your hormones, make it easy for you to be fit for life. You're not giving your body the building block that it requires to create the muscle in the first place. However, I think the macro that is really misunderstood and really overlooked way more than protein is carbs because people have been brainwashed for the last couple of decades to think that it's really carbs that are the problem and that that's the thing that's making everybody gain a bunch of weight. But actually, it's still the high fat intake that is causing this problem. Carbs actually do not convert to body fat very easily because they're a very different source of energy than fat is. And again, every gram of carbs is only four calories, just like protein, whereas every gram of fat is nine calories. So it's really not as easy to overeat carbs, especially when you're eating natural whole food carbs. If you're eating a bunch of super processed refined carbs, like white bread, a bunch of sugar, soda, Starbucks drinks like that, then yeah, technically those are carbs, but obviously it's very easy to overeat those carbs. But if you're eating real food carbs like rice, quinoa, oats, sweet potatoes, and then obviously fruits and veggies, it's going to be very difficult for you to eat in a huge excessive amount of those carbs because since protein and carbs are four calories per gram, whereas fat is nine calories per gram, you get way more volume of food when you eat a higher protein, higher carb intake with a moderate amount of fats. So an example of this is if you were going to have a sweet potato, which would be about 200 grams of a sweet potato versus if you were going to have just about 100 grams of an avocado, which is maybe about half of a regular avocado. Although the avocado is very good for you and it's not that you shouldn't be eating it. If you were to eat the sweet potato,
potato, that would give you way more volume of food than just the avocado, right? It's a lot bigger, it's a lot more actual food in your stomach, taking up space, keeping you fuller for longer. So this is why a lot of the time when people will make the switch to eating in a macro friendly way, they're usually gonna be like, wow, this is a lot of food because the actual volume, the size of the food is really massive. You're gonna be having huge bowls of rice, huge bowls of oatmeal, huge bowls of pasta. So at first it's kind of a mind F because we've been so brainwashed by diet culture to think, oh, we're not supposed to be having big portion sizes, but that is not the case. You are supposed to be having big portion sizes. It just needs to be the right ratios of the macros so that you are giving your body what it needs to be decreasing your body fat levels and especially putting on that muscle. So one of the reasons we need to have so many carbs when we are trying to build muscle is because carbs is the source of fuel for our workouts to gain the muscle in the first place. So yes, you obviously need to eat the right way in order to build muscle, but if you are not training, then you're not gonna actually be able to build muscle, right? Because you can't only eat your way to more muscle, you have to give your body a stimulus, you have to give it a reason that it should build muscle in the first place. And that happens when you're going in the gym or working out from home and you're putting heavy resistance on your muscles. That creates the signal to your muscles that tells them, hey, you need to grow because I'm getting strong and you better keep up with me. And I'm gonna feed you a lot of carbs and a lot of protein so you actually can do that. So carbs will directly translate into the fuel for your performance in the gym. And the better you can perform in the gym, meaning it doesn't need to be super long or super difficult, but when you are in your gym session, you are focused, you are really giving your all to every set, making sure you're really engaging the muscle mind connection, focusing on the muscle that you want to target, and then that you are getting stronger, implementing that progressive overload bit by bit by bit. So your body is going to pull on the carbohydrates as a source of fuel to push you through that session. And then also the carbs get stored inside of your muscles. So the more muscle you have, the more carbs you actually need because you need more carbs being stored inside of all that muscle for them to continue to be able to stay on your body. And also the carbs going in and filling up the muscles gives your muscles that nice kind of swole appearance, makes them really defined, sculpted, and kind of popping out in all the right places, if you know what I mean. Okay, so now that you understand the importance of each of the three macros and how much of each we need to be having, I'm gonna go through the two categories of women that I see in terms of total calorie intake. So the first group of women are the ones who actually are eating enough total calories. They're eating around 2,000 calories a day, maybe a little less, which is still a little low if it's a little bit less, but it's not too bad, maybe like 1,700, 1,800. And then you have the ones who are even higher than that, like 21, 2,300, which is really, really good. I love when I see that because it means you are eating enough, but usually it's just that the macro ratios are not where they should be, and that's why you're not seeing results. So yeah, maybe you're eating 2,100 calories and your protein is maybe okay, maybe it's like 100 grams, but then maybe also your fat is 100 grams, which is too much fat, and then your carbs are still only like 150 grams or something like that. So not enough carbs for that amount of calories. So how do you know how much you're eating? Well, obviously you would have to track for a couple of days everything that you are eating in an app like MyFitnessPal, and then you'd have to see, okay, how much am I eating and how much of each macro am I having? And this is exactly what I get my new clients to do when they start with me so that I can see what their eating habits are like, and then I'll know what decisions I have to make as their coach in order to guide them towards the right macros so that they're gonna achieve the goals that they want. So if this is you and you are eating around 2,000 calories a day, what you wanna do is you wanna take that 2,000 calories or whatever the amount is that you're eating and just set the right macros from that. So the right macro should be somewhere between 120 to 150 grams of protein per day. You really don't need to be having much more than that as a woman, but you definitely should not be having any less. And the closer you can be to one gram per pound of body weight within whatever that range is, the better. But I'd say absolute minimum 120. If you do weigh more than that, you can start to work your way up to a higher intake because sometimes at first it might be a little hard for you to suddenly jump to eating that much protein if you're not used to it. So then what you would do is set your fat target. So whatever is the amount of calories that you're eating, let's say it's 2000 calories a day, you're going to pick somewhere between 25 to 30% of those calories to go to fat. And then whatever is left over is what is going to go towards your carbs. And so when you're doing things right, it really should be that your carb intake is about 50% of your total calories more or less. So that is a lot. And again, this is the one area I really see women are under eating. They're eating way too many fats and very few carbs. So you got to split that up and start allotting it a little bit differently. And you're going to see a big difference in your physique and energy levels really quickly when you do that. Okay. The second group of women are the ones who are just way under eating in general. And on top of that, they also don't have the right macro ratios, but even worse is just that they're eating so, so low calorie overall. So again, a lot of women I work with when they first come to me, they're 
they're tracking their intake. I'm like, mm-hmm, 1,300 calories a day. That's not gonna work. We definitely need to increase your food a lot. So usually if you're somebody who's eating that low, like 1,300, 1,200, 1,400, whatever, I'm gonna start you off at at least 1,500, maybe 1,600 calories a day. And usually the macros I would set for a woman like that would be, again, at least 120 grams of protein to just get going. And then I would slowly increase from there. Put the fats at about 50 grams a day, which is still enough to make your food taste good, but we're not going way over and also not under. And then I would be putting your carbs at at least 150 grams a day as the bare minimum to start. But keep in mind, 150 grams of carbs, especially for somebody who's trying to build muscle, that's literally nothing. That is really, really not enough. But we just gotta get you started somewhere because you're eating even less than that right now. So 120 protein, 50 fat, and 150 carbs is still only about 1,500 calories. So that is very low. That is not enough food. But again, if you're a woman who's eating like 1,300 calories right now, even the jump to 1,500 with the right macro ratios is gonna be a big improvement. Now, from here though, obviously only continuing to eat 1,500 calories is not enough. You're going to need to reverse diet, meaning you're going to need to gradually increase your food bit by bit over time so that number one, your metabolism and overall calorie burn is going to speed up because our bodies adapt to the amount of food that we are eating. And especially when you add in training, when you're going in the gym, you're lifting weights, you're getting super strong, you're going to start to get a lot hungrier because your body is going to be burning through that food, especially burning through the carbs. And it's going to be asking you to give it more. You're going to be getting really hungry, really fast. I see this happen all the time with my clients. They join my program and maybe they're only eating like 1300, 1400 calories to start. I bump up their food and then within one to two weeks, they're like, I am literally starving. I'm hungrier than I have been in years. And that's because they added in the strength training. And then also they started feeding their body enough food that their body has kind of like woken up and it's asking to get more now. So what you're going to do is you're going to gradually increase your carb intake, especially bit by bit over time. And the way you do that is kind of a little bit too much for me to get into in this video of the exact specifics of it. But I did make this video here here that walks you through exactly how to reverse diet properly bit by bit and also just how to set your macros, your calories, top to bottom, how to adapt them as your body adjusts because you need to continue to adjust them as your body is changing because your energy needs are also changing. So make sure to check out that video where I walk you through exactly how to calculate all this and make adjustments step by step. All right fam, so those are the most important changes you need to be making with your nutrition ASAP in order to start to get the body composition that you actually want to have and feel really good because you're going to notice if you're used to eating that really high fat intake with low carb, low protein, as soon as you make that switch, as soon as you start eating more carbs, more protein, and keeping your fats kind of moderate, you're going to feel way better. All of that bloating is going to disappear. You're going to have way more energy, way more mental clarity, and your cravings are going to disappear as well because you're actually satiated now, which you weren't getting before when you weren't having the right macro ratios. Now, on top of that, of course, if you add in your training and you stay consistent with this, you gradually reverse diet, like I explained in the other video I mentioned, you're going to start to see your physique changing big time, leaning out, toning up while eating so much food, feeling amazing and getting to stay this way for life. So of course, if you want one-to-one -one guidance through this entire process, if all of this overwhelms you and you're like, okay, I literally just want somebody to tell me exactly what to do, walk me through it step-by-step, -step, hold my hand through the process, encourage me, answer all my questions. And that is exactly what I do as a one-to-one -one online nutrition and fitness coach. I've helped hundreds of women of all different kinds of backgrounds all over the world, change their physiques for good, implementing everything that I'm talking about on this YouTube channel. And I'd love to help you do the same. So if you're interested, click on the link below to apply to work with me one-to-one -one directly. All right, fam, thank you so much for checking out this video. Now, next up, I want you to go watch this video here, which is walking you through a recent full day of eating and training with me. So you can see what it actually looks like to eat a high protein, super high carb, because I was building a lot of muscle. So my carb level was insane and a moderate fat intake and how I use all of that to fuel my training to create the body composition that I'm after, which is one with a lot of muscle. So go check out that video next and I will see you in that one.